Thank you. Had a fine show tonight. We got a great program. Yeah. And I, get, I mentioned it over there, but the biggest story on the planet right now is the opening of the final Star Wars movie, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. I said this. I have no idea what the Sith is. I don't know. <laughs> It's hard for me to get cranked up about the revenge of the Sith when I have no clue who the Sith is. But, uh, you know, people say it's a good movie. Everyone's talking about it. They expect this film to break all sorts of box office records. So I thought it might be fun to sponge off this phenomenon tonight <laughs> with a little piece I'm calling Jumping on the Star Wars Bandwagon. <laughs> That may seem like nothing to you, but for us to have the letters go from there to there, that's huge for us. That took next year's budget. All right, now first of all, it's been three years since Star Wars Episode Two came out, and people like me, a lot of moviegoers, may have forgotten what happened, which makes it hard to enjoy this third uh, installment. So to bring everybody up to date, here's a sped up version of Episode Two. Bounty Hunter Cog. I won't forget, and thank you. You got it now? Keep them up to date. Good. We're all caught up now, all right. I hate to mention this, but the movie itself has some problems. Everyone's, you know, ev everything is falling apart in the plot. Everything's falling apart for the universe. Anakin's going over the dark side. Jedi are dying all over the place. So with all this going on, why would any of us care about Yoda's head lice problem? <laughs> they folk a lot of the movie's about Yoda's head lice problem. They're terrible scenes. Take a look. Anakin did not take to his new assignment with much enthusiasm. It's very dangerous putting them together. I don't think I can handle it. I don't trust him. Is he not the chosen one? Is he not to destroy the Sith and bring balance to the Force? So the prophecy said. That's a lot of the movie. I don't want to give anything away, but that's two thirds of the movie. And he goes and gets a cream, and that doesn't work, and it's not good. All right, now, some people who aren't Star Wars fans wonder how others can devote so much of their lives to a series of movies. Well, the answer is pretty simple. Awkward and less athletic people sometimes feel inferior to muscular jock types. And they'll search out other areas in which they can excel and outperform those more popular guys. With this in mind, we'd like to present the Star Wars geek's worst nightmare. The jock who knows as much about Star Wars as a geek. You know, the original Jawa action figure came with a vinyl cape. The cloth robe was added later. <laughs> was pretty much me in high school. <laughs> with a few changes. Uh, now, a lot of toys have come out in conjunction with these Star Wars movies. Probably the most popular is a talking Yoda doll. Everyone loves to get this talking Yoda doll. You squeeze his hand and he dispenses mystical wisdom. But be careful, there are a lot of bootleg versions of this doll out there that they're selling on the street, like this one right here. And they're just not the same. Listen to this bootleg uh, Yoda right here. Hey, how you doing? I'm Yada. I'm the puppet from the movie, and, uh... Hey, Dad, the pizza man's here! Don't come into Daddy's room without knocking! <laughs> I'm recording the Yada thing. Oh, yeah. It's not the same. You know, here's another interesting fact about these Star Wars movies. Even though they're popular here on Earth, they're surprisingly unpopular on other planets. Which is weird. You wouldn't think it would be that way, but on other planets, they just don't go over that well. Check it out. Now, our next film is Star Wars Episode Three. I had high hopes for this one, but it turned out to be two hours of my life. I'll never get back. 
<laughs> Our next film, we take a look at The Upside of Anger. <laughs> Agreed. Which is why it gets two Beryllian nubs in the up position. <laughs> Well, folks, last night, Star Wars premiered not just in the United States, but around the globe. Star Wars truly is an international phenomenon, and to give you an idea of just how broad the popularity of this movie uh, franchise is, we've gathered some hardcore Star Wars fans from all over the world. Check it out. Here they are, some of the biggest Star Wars fans anywhere, from all different countries, everywhere. And look, an R2 from Mexico. Isn't that exciting? Hey, R2. Very nice, all right. Now, as many of you know, the latest movie is the only Star Wars film to get a PG-13 rating because of its mature content. Well, this surprised me, because I think the original Star Wars movie was probably the raunchiest science fiction movie ever made. You remember the original? It was filthy. There's just sex left and right in that film. If you don't believe, believe me, take a look at this clip. We found the computer outlet, sir. Is a pervert. All right, everybody, we're going to take a little break. Uh, stick around. We come back. Amy Poehler joining us.